welcome to the PFO channel. I'm Jim. One of our viewers just put a comment asking what's the minimum length of this that I can get it down to for storage. He's wondering if he can fit it side to side in a shipping container. I don't know how wide a shipping container is, but I can tell you I'm going to tuck this in as tight as it'll go and then measure it and see. I can get it. I don't recommend storing them long term this way because you usually want the boom to be resting down to take the pressure off. But I suppose if it's inside of a shipping container, you could rest that against the wall of the shipping container and it would technically be at rest. At least the pressure would be off. So, what do we got? What kind of measurement we got here? Okay, at that level. Ninety-three inches. Maybe that's enough. The width. It looks like these are actually a little bit wider than the tracks. I'm gonna call that ROPS supports. Thirty-eight and a quarter. And don't get all excited telling me this doesn't meet the OSHA spec for ROPS. I don't know what that spec is, but it's more substantial than most canopy supports. This is thirty-six and five-eighths on the blade. 37 inch rubber to rubber, 30, 37 inches rubber to rubber. I thought these would fit through a 36 inch doorway. Guess I hadn't tried it yet. What's the height? 88 and a quarter. If you're going to have this thing sitting on the floor and relaxed, then this is the narrowest point. This is about 115 and a half this way. So it got a lot narrower by pulling that boom up and the bucket and the stick in tight. So there you have it. Hope that helps. Thanks a lot for watching. PFO channel out.